This is happening in the Nano Engineering and Sciences building behind me. Nano meaning incredibly small. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the future. Dr. Anthony so Fauci with the other big news yesterday that didn't make the news because of the lifting of the mask recommendation for vaccinated people. And that is the development of a universal coronavirus vaccine. Right now, the world, including us, is sweating the variants and wondering whether another pandemic could follow this one. And there's a whole host of sarbacoviruses circulating in bats that look poised to make the jump to humans. Nobody wants that to happen. Neil King is a UW assistant professor of biochemistry. And the University of Washington is working on a vaccine that could shield us from them all. Right? And so the immediate priority is developing a, a vaccine that can protect against known and unknown SARS-like coronaviruses. And so that's what many groups are going after first. And then once we get that, we'll go even broader. A year ago, King 5 showed you how even the public was pulled in to help figure out ways to come up with proteins that could defeat the coronavirus. COVID-19, the disease, is caused by one version of the virus known as SARS-CoV-2. It's a relative of the SARS virus that threatened the world nearly 20 years ago, part of a class of coronaviruses considered the most dangerous. Now the UW, Duke University and other institutions are working on the next step, a vaccine that uses nanoparticles to teach the body how to recognize a threat. But Dr. King says the UW is doing something different than the others. We use this software called Rosetta that, that has been developed here at UW and worldwide to make up new protein nanoparticles and we dial in their structures at the atomic level. So we say this atom here, that atom there, that atom there and we can predictively design new nanoparticle structures that we think are gonna make the best possible vaccine. Dr. Fauci cited Duke University's work in this area and studies in monkeys that are super promising, but also in this class of viruses are coronaviruses that cause five to 15% of the common cold. And those could go away as well. At the University of Washington, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.